because this is special. Inside the G class of JP. Let's go. Wow. Sounds like a lion, guys. Hello guys, I am back today, welcoming you all with this. Right in front of me, we have a very, very special G800. This one is owned by the famous German YouTuber JP Performance. And in today's video, I will be giving you a full tour of his car, including the exterior, afterwards the interior. And last but not least, finished off with a resume. So I am right here at the Brabos headquarters in Bottrop, guys. Just look at all the cars outside and inside. It's just a heaven for all Brabos fanboys and fangirls. He built this car in cooperation with Brabos and they finished the project, I think, a month or two months ago. And now it's right in front of me. They service the car, I guess, and it will be picked up in a few hours. But before they do that, they allowed me to film this car at this point. Special thanks. And yeah, the car is full finished in uni gray, classic gray, also known as Arabian gray or Alpine gray. And they've done the full G-Class Brabos conversion. This is based on the G63 and what they have done is full Brabos exterior upgrades with the parts plus performance upgrades with the modification from a 63 to a 800 pushing it up to 800 horsepower from 585 horsepower. I also love the blue details in the outside and the interior is very special so let's get it on and start with the walk around. Looking at the front I will just tell you what they have done on the exterior. First of all we have the nice exterior paint i really like it i enjoy it and something very interesting is that he has added the matte carbon fiber exterior parts you have the option of uh, gloss and matte and he chose the matte ones i really like the look also with the blue signature stripes and the red leds you can see it not that clearly but in the night it's super cool as the grill lights up red when the car is stationary the bravos double b is very darkish i don't know what kind of color tone he chose it looks like a brown color but i really like this a lot he didn't go for the bonnet extension which we have on the car right there as you can see which makes the car look extremely brutal but i also prefer it without it because the car looks very very elegant yet still like a base g-class you can drive as a daily on the front bumper you can have additional carbon fiber parts plus led lights and the front bumper as well all done by bravo something very cool i have to mention is that on this car they have also done the full white body extension which makes the car look a bit more wider than it actually is the special thing on jp's car is that he has got the aero disc wheels even though it's not a rocket edition this is the 800 and he still got the aero disc wheels plus the rocket edition exhaust which can only get for the g900 rocket edition or the super black edition g900 but how do you guys like the wheel option on this i really like it as you have a matte carbon finish with the black gloss wheels plus with the nice bright baby blue details here on the double b on the side and the brake calipers as well which you can't really spot but still we have 24 inches here with the aero disc looking extremely good on the side we have the extension also done in full carbon matte finish with the nice blue details by toba 800 also all the parts here the door handles the side parts finished in matte carbon the top with the light is also finished in matte carbon and the side mirrors as well. Something very cool on the exhaust is that they have also put a red LED inside, which looks so crazy, especially in the night when you drive it. And also when you do a sound check, it's so nice looking. The rear again, 24 inches, but now let's talk about the back of this G800. Something interesting is that JP didn't go for the spare tire cover on this car. He just went for the mud carbon Brabos cover, which looks very decent, but in my eyes, a G-Class has to have the spare tire cover on the back. It's, op it's an option and a matter of taste, but in my eyes, you definitely need it. What do you guys think? All in all, yet again, here we have the Brabos emblem, full finished in carbon, and the outside, and also with the blue additional details, also on the right-hand side, the 800 badge. I like it a lot. As soon as we open this, you can see the floor mats, and even the trunk parts, all of them are redone in this blue leather tone, which I really like. You see that? It's so cool, nice to touch it. The feel is extremely well. And also here on this side, everything is finished in leather. 
it feels extremely luxurious. Even here you have an illuminated mud carbon entrance for the trunk. Let me just close it for you. There we go. And now guys, let's talk about the interior because this is special. So now it's time to talk about the interior guys and the color finish on this is just extremely unique and crazy looking. Wow, what the have they done here? <gasps> Look at it. Let me just step inside. But before we do that, let's concentrate on the door panel here. It's full finished in this blue leather tone with the matte carbon again. Also, the chrome parts, the door handles, the Bormester speaker covers, all of them are repainted in this blue chrome finish, which I really like. It also touching it feels so good, extremely luxurious. Even the inside of this is finished in leather. The entrance board, matte carbon fiber, illuminated. The floor mats here are black, which I'm a huge fan of because with dirty shoes stepping on, I, uh, let's say blue leather is just so awful. Therefore, going for the black is the way to go. Even the gas and brake pedals are finished in this blue chrome and all the leather works everything with a nice blue leather finish with the cool stitching here let me just jump inside and let's have a closer look on jp's g-class inside the g-class of jp um, guys look at it how do you guys like it so we are inside jp's g-class right now let me just start the ignition for you as soon as we do that we have the steering wheel buttons coming alive and guys what can i say this interior is just out of this world it's as crazy and special as JP himself. The steering wheel in front of me is one of my favorite ones, the flat bottom one with the Brabus initials. The color is just extremely well done. Even the star, even the buttons, everything. The shift pedals all done in this blue chrome color tone. The leather works with a nice blue. I just love it. The center console, matte carbon fiber. We have the signature of Konstantin Buschmann right here. The seat as well with the Brabus double B. Konstantin Buschmann's Brabus masterpiece badge. The yeah, seat belts are black. I wish these were also blue. But all in all, guys, look at the roof. We even have the star roof. Do you see the stars? You can kind of see them. It's way too bright right now, but normally you would see them. The back seats are also full finished in blue. And yeah, this car is just so unique looking. Wow. Even here on the side, you see that? We have the Brabus initials, the details. It's just so cool to see. Also right over here, the feel is just so good. Everything redone by Brabus. Wow. Let me just start up the car and then you can listen to it, okay? Let me just lower the window for you. Okay, we will start it up in Sport Plus. Let's go. Wow. So cool. I don't want to push it that much. Just wanted to give you a sneak preview of it. How do you like the sound? Sounds like a lion, guys. So that's it basically for today's video, guys. How do you like the Brabus G800 by JP Performance done by Brabus? Leave it in the comment section below. At this point, also special thanks for letting me film this car. In my eyes, it's one of the best specs. I really love the color in the outside and the inside. It's a very special and unique project they have done here. All in all, guys, leave me your comments in the comment section below. Looking forward to see you all again and wish you an amazing day. I will be back.